Hello everyone. Welcome to Organic Chemistry. I am Saravanan Ramasamy. I will be teaching this course. I am making this video to introduce myself and to tell you about the Organic Chemistry course sequence. First, a little bit about me. I grew up and got my Master of Science in Chemistry in India. Then I moved to the United States to do my PhD in Organic Chemistry at the University of Oklahoma. For my dissertation, I worked on developing metal fluorophore models for an enhanced fluorescence signal. I synthesized organic compounds to bind gold nanoparticles and fluorescent quantum dots. This scaffold of metal fluorophore nanoparticles emits brighter fluorescence due to the surface flasmon induced excitation. These fluorophore models can be used in places where there is a need for a smaller probe with a brighter fluorescence signal. After my PhD, I am working as a teaching and research postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at the University of Oklahoma. I teach Organic Chemistry 1 and 2 and do research on Organic Chemistry lab codes development. Before I talk about the specifics of the course that I teach, I want to give a brief introduction to Organic Chemistry. We see a lot of different substances around us in the world. Understanding the structure and properties of all of those billions of different types of materials is really overwhelming. But by understanding the behaviors of these 118 elements in the periodic table, we can try to make sense of the complex substances around us. Because these elements are the basic building blocks that make up everything in the universe. In chemistry, we study the properties and behaviors of these elements and try to make models and predictions of reality. Most of the elements in the periodic table are capable of forming only smaller molecules. But carbon can make molecules of huge sizes, like hundreds and thousands of atoms bind together. That gives a large number of possible combinations of atoms. That is why carbon show up a lot in the cells of living organisms in different compositions. Organic chemistry is the study of carbon-containing compounds. We study the structure, properties, compositions, reactions, and preparations of carbon-made compounds. These compounds are very tiny. Because of their size and speed, we cannot directly observe the interactions between the molecules. But we can make predictions. Organic chemistry builds models for us to understand the interactions and do predictions. When we talk about the interactions or the chemical reactions between atoms or molecules, we are really talking about the life events that occur in micro or nano scale in every organism in every fraction of a second. I know that most of you are life science majors and one year of organic chemistry is a requirement for the medical school. Why is it a requirement? Because you could build the knowledge of biology only on top of organic chemistry. Many concepts that you learn in organic chemistry and biology are very closely related. And at the end of the day, we are just talking about the interactions between atoms and molecules. The foundation of biochemistry, biotechnology and medicine are built on organic chemistry. Not only this, organic chemistry is central to many other fields like plastic, rubber, pharmaceutical, cosmetics, detergent, fuel, coatings, agricultural and other chemical industries. Also in these days, there are many huge global challenges that need to be taken care of, like global warming, demand for environment-friendly energy supply, demand for safe and healthy food, effective drugs for diseases, etc. If you are the person who is going to work on one of these challenges in your career, it's an essential to have a molecular level understanding behind the complexity of these global challenges. That highlights the significance of studying organic chemistry. Now let's talk about our organic chemistry course sequence. It's a two-semester sequence of Organic Chemistry 1 and Organic Chemistry 2 with biological emphasis. The class will consist of 50 minutes lecture on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. My goal is to keep the lecture focused on key concepts with further reading assignments on the related topics. There will be a short clicker quiz during each lecture to help you engage it to the material and there will be an online quiz on the Canvas website every two weeks. There will be four in-class regular quizzes, three midterm exams and a final exam. The formal prerequisite to enroll in the course is a passing grade in General Chemistry 2. Now let's take a quick look at the contents of these two courses. In Organic Chemistry 1, we will focus on the molecular properties like structure, bonding, energy of simple organic molecules. 
We will also cover the nomenclature and reactions of functional groups like alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, alcohols, and ethers. In Organic Chemistry 2, we will focus on the reactions, mechanisms, synthesis, and spectral analysis of many functional groups like aromatic compounds, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, acid derivatives, amines, carbohydrates, amino acids, and lipids. Throughout the two courses, we will be discussing the biological significance of these functional groups. For more details, you may look at the attached syllabi. It's really hard to believe that, out of a billion possibilities, these trillions of drifting atoms have somehow assembled in a particular and a unique manner to grant you and me a state called existence. Have you ever wondered how these mindless and lifeless atoms assembled in such a way that creates life on Earth? Is it a random assembly of atoms or is there a driving force behind each interaction? Let's explore more in our course. I hope you'll join me and enjoy organic chemistry. See you in the class.